Good morning, friends. This is Tony at Sidekick Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. This is Saturday Morning Makes, and I wanted to uh, work a little more in my recipe journal. So um, I posted a video when I started it, and I wanted to show you what I came up with. Some of this I did on camera, some of it I did after. But we've got a beautiful pocket. Absolutely love this art from this book, this old vintage book. This is going to be a floating pocket in my journal and I've got the little story on the back. And then I've got another pocket here. I use this, this craft cookery um, packaging or paper and added it to some book page and this will actually uh, glue to the page. I did some sewing around a lot of these. Actually I made two little pamphlets. This was the Kikamins pamphlet and I made two of them out of it. I used that old um, accounting paper pad that had handwriting all over it. I thought, you know, if you use a pen over this, it's gonna be like background paper. So I made a little pamphlet out of that one, as well as, well, I took the inside pages out. And I got two out of it. So I'll probably be able to, I was planning on making a, sec, a second journal for sure anyway so I'll start there and then this one is just a little folder a little folio and I added some um, papers here some pages from some other pamphlets I used some more of that accounting paper and then used some dyed coffee dyed fabric for the to put the pages together and bind that to make it stronger I did sew around the outsides edges I thought that turned out pretty cute got another floating folder or floating pocket we did this one together and I need to glue that again I sewed around this one we did this on on the that video I'll probably put a sentiment or something on here or another at this is going to be just part of if it's not just a journaling card it'll be part of another page so it's gonna have some more color and some pop to it this is a little fold out tab we did also and it folds out like that for journaling that we'll just glue in. Got another journaling card. I'll probably put a tag, our tab on this one. Some, probably some fabric, maybe something to mimic her dress would be cute. And then I've got another journaling card here. I love this paper. I found the rest of that paper, you guys, in, um, in my stash. And now that I'm looking for it, as you know, I don't see it. Where did I put it? I set it aside so that I could use it for this. So I'm hoping I can, um, I'm hoping it's nearby because I was assuming it was. I forgot to look. I've got some uh, coffee dye on the back side of that. And then I had another tag. Um, this was a box. I actually got this box uh, recipe from the antique bookstore. It was just kind of floating in their stuff. I think it probably fell out of a cookbook or something and it was cut all wonky. So I cut it down a little bit and we're going to use it as a tag. Put some paper on the back. So there's that. I worked on those and where did the paper go? Where did it go? I bet. Is that it? Oh, I think that's it. Yep, I did find it. So these were all, um, I don't remember where these came from. If this was maybe somebody's D stash or something, but they're kind of, um, I don't know, I might have ordered them at some point. These were, these I actually purchased. This was a pad, but I don't remember where it was from or, or what it was. Um, but I like these colors, they're kind of fun. A little different than um, the rest of these, but these have, these are, they're one side. They, that's interesting. Oh, it's two pages together. I'm like, that's weird. That's not two-sided. These are one-sided papers, and they're kind of a retro feel. I probably ordered these from somewhere, or they came in a dis um, in somebody's D stash. But I thought these would be really fun and funky to put in there with some of this. Oh, this these are a mess to put in with some of these ads. I must have dropped them at some point and just picked them up quickly because. This is not how I usually organize things. What the heck is going on? All right. So that one's not that funky retro, but it would be fun. Look at that. Wouldn't these be fun papers for these? Um, for this, I think it, I really think it would. Some of these remind me of, you know, wallpaper from way back when. 
So yeah, there's some cool ones in here. I won't go through all of it, but I'll kind of try to, let me show you the patterned ones, not the, not the plain ones. Look at that. Cool. So I thought these would be kind of fun to go through and put some, uh, look at that. I love it. Oh, this is perfect. Look at this. Isn't that perfect for that? What? So I thought maybe we'd make a page or two in the book and um, kind of get that going. Um, let's see here. I think we're using this today because that's absolutely perfect. I'm gonna pull the second one just in case. We'll just pull this whole thing aside right here. Put those there. Love that too. Nah. Looks like the berries though in the pie, doesn't it? <laughs> but I really love that. It just really pops. Love it. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do. This is the hard part. I, I have not, this book is in pristine condition. I have not touched it yet as far as gluing anything in. I'm not a collager, so this is going to be very different for me. Um, I want to leave as many of these pages in as I can. I will be altering them, of course. And as it grows, I'm going to have to start pulling them out. So I want to be... I want to be careful which ones I cover and which ones I don't because I want to take out the ones I don't like first, you know? The lasagna recipe, I should actually try that. <laughs> um, I've never even read these recipes, so I really want to be careful with that. But I say, and there, you know what? There doesn't need to be a rhyme or reason. I'm not sectioning this off into any kind of dinners or anything. Nothing like that. The index is not going to matter. So if there is one, I guess, look how cute that paper is. Look at that. Would that be fun? Of course, I could just totally put that there too. You guys see that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm in frame. That would be cute there, too. Christine Smith would be proud of me. She owned that book at one time. So that could be cute. I love this paper. I don't care about this side. It's a dedication. That paper's in there, too. I really love her on the front. <laughs> I don't know why. But it's called Deceptively Delicious simple secrets to get your kids eating good food. So basically these are recipes to get my kids to eat good food. My kids always ate good food. They loved healthy foods. So I think it's really fun to leave that in there. Um, that's how I used to cook. My lasagna had more zucchini in it than my kids ever thought it did. Zucchini and spinach, all the vegetables. And they never knew it. But you know... Something like that would be really cute inside that boundary because I don't want to dedicate it to them. So it might be fun to just start with putting a plate right there. I don't want to decorate that yet because I haven't given it a lot of thought, but I could cut it down. How much room do I need? Half an inch. Oops, there's two pages there. Let's take off. How big is this? This is. Eight and a half, so let's go down to eight. No, I don't think, I think that's not enough. Let's go to seven and three quarters. Was that big enough? That's perfect, right there. And we'll hold on to that for something else. We're just gonna glue that in there, okay? We're just gonna start there. I don't have a plan for this page, but we're gonna start there. And I don't plan to do a lot of like mixed media or anything in here. I don't plan to. Well, yeah, I guess I kind of do. I just don't have a plan. You know why I don't have a plan? I don't have a plan because I don't want to make rules for it. Does that make sense? I kind of want to just come to something intuitively and have fun with it. This is not going to be a chore. 
at all. This is going to be fun. Ugh. So if I decide to get out some paint one day and paint in here, that's what I'm going to do. But we're going to start by covering up this page right here. Why is it always so hard to get that first little bit out? And I'm bleeding. Great. True crafter is the one who pokes herself with the pin trying to get the glue out. <laughs> it's not even jammed. I don't know why it's not coming out. There we go. Come on, Barely Art Glue. I talk about you all the time in lots of good ways. I love this glue. Isn't that funny how we all have a favorite glue? It could be... It's just what works for us, I guess. But I swear by this glue. I'm sure there's plenty of great ones, but I love this one. Oops. There we go. We're just gonna cover that page. And I'm gonna use my oh, spread that glue out okay and I'm sure I'm gonna decorate it somehow I just don't know yet but I love the color combo so I don't want to use that paper somewhere else and not have it I love that that's great that's awesome and I really 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 I don't know if I want to put this one across from this one should I I think I should because this balances really well with that. But I'm wondering, do I need to do more? These pages are just shy, so it's like I can't cover the whole page. I wanna use, if I offset it a little bit, I could put something here too. Here it goes, you guys, I'm tearing up this book. 1934 copyright. Kills me. I'm not gonna lie, it kills me. But it's not going to waste like it was in the bookstore. Look at those, those are fun. I remember loving tapioca when I was a kid. I don't know why. I, I, I don't care for it now. <laughs> but I did when I was a kid. Let's just do it. Here goes. Ah, that's tough. All right, so we could do, I could do something like this. And then that green border still comes into play. It's still part of the picture. I really like that. I think I'm gonna round my corners, make it a little softer. Or I'm gonna round, I'm gonna, on this part, I'm gonna round these two corners. I think that'll work nice. And then on this one, I'm going to round all of them. I'm going to leave that raw edge the way it is. And then I think I just want to put this here. Now I could turn this into a pocket so that I can and make a journal card and just stick it in there. Or on this end, that would be fun. And then I'd have to put another picture or I could decorate it somehow here. Or I could use this on here, still leave this open and leave it a pocket or make this a, a side pocket. That would probably be a better option. But this is kind of fragile. So if I do that, I think I'm gonna wanna back it with another piece of paper at least because I don't want it to, I mean, it's old, so I don't want it to, um, Let's go ahead. Did I glue this down? No. Let's go ahead and glue this down. We'll start with that. I don't think I'll need cardstock, but at least another book page would probably be a great idea to put behind there. Just for a little bit more support. 
this is for myself, so it's not like I'm going to be, you know, being brutal with it or anything. I'll know better. But I want it to stand up to the test of time. Maybe my daughter ends up with this book someday and she shares it with her daughter. I don't know. It could happen. Okay. For a second there, I thought I just totally messed up the pocket idea, but <laughs> I realized I didn't. We're good. <laughs> now, I could use the same book page from the same book, but... I don't want to. I've got a younger book down here that I can pull from that will probably be a little stronger, and then I'm not wasting pages from that one. So let's glue this one to that one. This is the newer book that I've been working with, my glue book. And we're going to... I love that I get to use these things. It's such a treat. It's hard because I'd love to keep all these things in their, their current state, you know, just keep them as they are, but they won't ever be used that way and enjoyed. They'll just be tucked away in a corner and they'll be bulky and one day I'll be like, why am I saving this? And then I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna take them and drop them off at the bookstore, or, you know, and um, that's, that's not, that's not appreciating them. So this will be part of their history. As the uh, antique book guy t tells me. And they will be appreciated this way. I love that. I love that. Okay. Now, there's grandma scissors. There's grandma scissors. We're just going to go around here. We're even going to leave Christine Smith's name on there. See how she wrote it on there? <laughs> leave her name. I like it there. Yes, the, um, the owner of the bookstore, I was teasing him because he was just kind of tossing... Um, tossing the books, brittle books, tossing them in a bag. And I said, hey, don't tear anything in there, okay? And he goes, hey, it's all part of their history. I'm like, oh my God, you're right. <laughs> and I was kidding. I mean, I wasn't trying to be a snot or, I, I wasn't trying to be rude to him in any way. I was, I was joking with him and very clearly so. But I don't know if he was serious or not, but it was pretty funny. It's part of their history. If they get torn, they get torn. I'm like, okay. You're right about that. But I told him what I do with them. I told him, yeah, I, I cut them up and I'm trying to take things that, you know, other people might not appreciate. I'm not gonna go buy some expensive, you know, collector's items and cut them up. Not at all. I want to buy simple things that people will just overlook and appreciate those things. And give them a second life. Told me no problem. Thanks for doing that. He said if I ever feel like getting rid of them again, you know, if I decide I don't need them, just bring them back to him. So, okay, I will do that, but that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay, I love this. Okay, this is going to be my pocket, but I'm going to, and you know what would have been fun if I would have sewn around it, but I don't need to sew on every page. That's not necessary. Um, and I do have a lot of things that are so already, and I will continue to do that, but it doesn't have to be on everything. Let's go ahead and put a thumb notch in here. And we're going to glue the three sides. Because I can put other things around here too that will be um, very... Yeah, 
now I could definitely put some other pictures or other things on here. I don't know that I need to though. I'll, what I'll probably do is make, let, we'll make a journaling card now to go in there, something to, to fit in. But I think this side is gonna be more of a collage -y kind of thing where I can put different photos and things to, to and uh, journaling spots and such. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this one fairly alone. And you notice it's got stains on here and everything. I didn't do any, I didn't need to do any edges or anything like that. I don't feel the need to because it's, it's already very well aged and <laughs> naturally. Hmm. Why mess with that? So let's see what we've got. Um, should I use something else from the tapioca book? This would make, I mean, this would make, this would be too big. I'd have to cut it. Um, there was a picture in here that I saw when I was flipping through that would be really pretty. I think it was pie. Was it pie? I should read some of these and see what people actually make with tapioca because we just made tapioca pudding. I, but some of these are omelets and with meat, rhubarb pie with tapioca, I, I don't know. See, that's cute. This would be a cute, actually this would be a really cute tag. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It says the the new minute tapioca makes runny pie makes runny fruit pies behave. So it must just be a thickener in there. But wouldn't it have the the texture from the tapioca? I don't know. All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to keep I like this torn edge because it kind of messed it up. And now I've got this too. I'm going to need to shorten it somehow because it won't fit in the pocket. So I need to tear some of it off from somewhere. I may just tear around. I think I'm just gonna tear around the photo. I don't need the description of the picture at all. Let's just do that. We'll save that piece though. We might be able to use it for something. Go here. Be easier if I go here. This would be easier. And being that I'm right-handed, let's flip this around. <laughs> okay. I'm not a pro with the tear ruler. I still need practice. that I'm gonna leave that top tab on there actually I might not be able to we need to be able to fit it in here don't we yeah it's gonna be a little too tight so let's go ahead and tear that off and if I'm gonna do that I'm gonna tear off a little no I'm not I'm gonna stick with the line because I'm very crooked Okay, that should fit better. That sounded terrible. I'm crooked. No, I'm not. Not like that. Not like that, you guys. Um, I saved the backing for that pad of paper. I wanna put, I'd kinda like to keep the, the writing on here. Even that would be nice but I think I want to put a matting behind it so that it has just a little bit of color pop behind it. That's why I left that little edge on our territory the way I did. Would this be too much? That's the wrong, that's totally wrong. What about this blue, does this blue work? See, that would be fun. paper is super thin. 
Let's go ahead and glue this here. Just a tiny mat. Yes. It's kind of funny working with these colors because if you look back at my first videos when I started this adventure, everything, I was getting teased about not using color. My family, of course, <laughs> people that love me. And um, everything was, you know, Tim Holtz and vintage and, and that's true to my heart, but I do love color and I do love, you know, stuff like that bright and happy and, you know, I, I do love it. I just didn't use it that much. I guess that was my first stage. I, I don't know how else to explain it because I'll go through stages where I like different things and, um, you know, so I'll create differently and, and, um, I'm happy that I've been able to start using a little bit more color and find different projects that I loved and some inspiration. You also tend to work with, you know, when you craft, you craft with what you have. And that's what I, um, I guess I must have done the vintage thing first. Those were the supplies I work, was working with. And now I've got colorful vintage. <laughs> and let's go, we're just gonna do this flat and I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this, I'm gonna do it on this side. That way that there's some, oh shoot, because I wanted to put paper on the back, but that takes away from it. I'm not gonna put paper on the back. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And it's got writing on it, and I'm good with that. I want to be able to write over that writing and have it just be part of the decorative aspect of the card. I don't necessarily want to take away from it, and I don't need to write on pristine paper. That would be silly. I mean, what's the point of that? So let's put this over this part because that would take up less of the writing on the other side. That's not what I just said. I want the writing on the other side, right here. See how I go back and forth between saving it and using it? <laughs> All right, now that'll have some good space on the back. That's so pretty. go and now we've got a really cool little journal card with pie and on the back we've got the writing I don't that's upside down this is the right way up and I've got the writing upside down and that's okay and there we go got a nice little card there a little tuck will it fit I hope should I round the corner? No, I don't want to round the corners because I didn't round the corners of that. So we're going to leave it alone. Stop it. Just leave it. <laughs> I think I want to put a little tab right here, though, to pull it in and out easier or to pull it out easier. I, I don't really need to, but actually, maybe I won't because it does have the thumb notch. I think we'll be all right. I'll be able to stick other things in there, too, which is cool. I'll leave it sticking out just a little. What do you think, you guys? There's a first page right there. Should I add more to it? Hmm. I really don't need to, but I could. Or I could come back to it at a later date and add more to it. Because you know what? This is going to be an ongoing project for a while. I got lots of pages. That was just the first one. <laughs> so there's that. Um, let's look through here really quick. I think I've got some, a little bit more time that we can work together this morning and see if there's something else that strikes me. I don't think I'm going to do anything with this page yet because I'm not, I'm not settled and I don't know if I, I'll use this tapioca book again, but I don't know that I want it here. So we're going to put that aside and look through some more of these scraps. I love this. And I actually want to keep this one intact. So I think that what I wanna do with this is just make a pocket in here somewhere. Um, there 
was another page like that? Oh, where was it? Maybe not. No, there was. There was two of them. There were two of those because I thought, ooh, that's cool. So I really liked it there. Now here's an idea. <laughs> so I love this. And wouldn't it be fun to cut that out, put it right here, and then tuck this inside? First page torn out ever. <laughs> She's getting crazy, you guys. Watch out. I'm totally doing that. And we're going to save this paper for later because we're going to use that. We are going to use that. It's pretty, so we're going to use it for something else. It might be a border. Who knows? But we're going to use it. I am not the world's best fussy cutter. As I mentioned in my last video, it's not even something I enjoy doing. But this is what we're doing. Now this paper, I'm hoping it's not too thin for a pocket, I guess. It's probably fine, right? See, there's my thought right there. I like it. And then we'll just have a little pocket. We can stick some other things in there because I don't want to mess this one up. I really like this. Now I could use it, what I just realized, I could use it like a belly band instead and just be able to stick things through it like that and have them hold them in place. That might actually be a better option. I really like that. Then it looks like they're just kind of stacked in there. I do like that a lot. I think I like that better than the pocket idea. Let's do that. Should I put anything behind it though? I don't think so. Let's just do it. And again, I can always come back and decorate some more later. So if we're gonna do a belly band, we're just gonna do the two sides. I'm gonna line this up with it because I am a crooked person. I. Um, tend to not see things straightly. So we can just line it up with that little stripe right there. And there we go. Ooh, see? I messed that up big time. I actually cut crooked. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. And we'll have Skinner dinner in here. There we go. Skinners are here for dinner. Look at that, two pages down. And I plan on using die cuts in here and you know, stuff for my stuff for my arts and craftsies collections. And you know, I think it's gonna be really, really fun. This is gonna be great. I hope that holds in there okay. But I'll be tucking other things in and shoot, I hope it's not too slippery. If it is, if it's a, if it doesn't work, then we can, uh, we can always fix that. What else we got? Nothing too inspiring there today. The festive touch. Ooh, look at the fudge. Yum, yum. I could just stick that one in there too. This one, look how cute this is. This I think needs to be in another pocket. I don't want to ruin this one either. Um, I 
that might need to go there. Wouldn't that be a cute little pocket? I could use the same paper on this side to kind of tie that together. You know it would be even cuter though? How about this? I have another idea. Because I really love the picture in there. What if I do that instead? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're gonna make a vellum pocket on this one. See how these ideas just come? You just gotta get in there. Okay, so I'm gonna want this to be about, how deep is that? I'm gonna do the math right here. You're gonna help me figure this out. So shout out the answers. This is gonna be about three inches. So I'm gonna put a score at three inches in. Where's my scoring tool? Ugh, come on. Three inches in, that's gonna be the size of my pocket. And then I'm gonna need a section to fold. Let's give it a half an inch. So we'll do another one at half an inch. That's gonna be my cutting line. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut there. Make it less confusing. It's just my cutting line, that second one, at three and a half inches, if you guys are following along, or if you feel like it, or if you wanna know how I figure this out. All right, and then this one, this is three inches this way. So we need our pocket to be three inches with a half inch fold line. So let's do the half inch fold line first. That's where we're gonna fold it so that we can glue it to the back and then three inches from there. So we're gonna go at three and a half. And then we need another tab on this side that's gonna be half an inch. So we'll go to four and that's our cut line. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut on that four. Get rid of that piece. So now we have a line here, here, and here. Okay, those are our fold lines. But we've got these corners that are gonna get in the way as we fold, so we want to cut those out. And to make it even easier, we're going to go ahead and angle this just slightly. So a little triangle is gonna come out from that side. That's gonna make it way easier to cut or way easier to fold. My hands are shaking, it's the coffee I think. It's the excitement of it all. <laughs> I am excited to get this started you guys. I have been wanting to do this journal for a long time. And I kept putting it off and I thought, why am I putting it off? It's not like I'm scared of it or something. I just, I don't know. You know, it's kind of like the cobbler not making shoes for himself or his family. You know, they're just making them for everybody else. That's kind of how I feel sometimes. And I think I scored this crooked because I just folded it crooked, which is weird. I mean, I was pretty careful, I thought. Try that again. It's just paper. All right, so I think that fixed it just fine. I'll try to fold this one a little more carefully. If I line up the top up here, it should should go straight. I told you I'm crooked. I do lots of things totally crooked. So, all right. If you want a picture hanging on the wall, I am not the person to come to your house to do it. I'm, I can tell you that right now. It will be crooked. All right, there we go. And this will fit, should fit perfectly. And I measured wrong. Dang it. What happened there? Oh, you know what I did, you guys? I measured correctly, but I forgot that little tiny bit right here that's about, you know, an eighth of an inch or something. Let's try that again. We got the half inch here. How much room do I have here? About half an inch, right? Measure it correctly, Tom. Okay, we're gonna go in half an inch on each of these. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I know better than that. But we'll use that pocket for something else. It's okay. And a half an inch. Let's make sure. Is that 
give me plenty of room? That gives me plenty of room. So my measurements were correct. I just um, looked at my ruler incorrectly. We're just gonna cut this the same way, a little faster this time. All right, fold it correctly. Okay, we all make mistakes. It's all right. It's just paper. She says as she's cutting up books that are 100 years old. <laughs> it's just paper. No problem. It can't be replaced or anything, but you know, collector's item. All right, let's see if it fits this time before we glue it. Fits great. I do want a finger notch there, a thumb notch. So let's go ahead and, oh, you know what? This one doesn't cut that very well. Let's see if I can, well, ooh, let's use our envelope punch. That'll be fun. Because so I think that will cut it just fine. And I don't know how to center it on this thing. So I'm going to eyeball it. That worked great. My other um, circle circle punches don't work very well on this paper. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why. And I'm gonna actually take. No, I'm not gonna take. Yeah, I can take this one. It's gonna go to a backing, so that'll work. That will work. Tape doesn't always work very well with this paper, but since it's going, it's uh, yeah, it'll be fine. do this on a different surface it's making me nervous I don't want it to to land on this paper and tear it it's making me a little nervous but if it hits the glass we're good so what's everybody doing this weekend anybody going on vacation I'll be working <laughs> I was hoping to take um Take at least a day to myself this weekend because next week I'm back full bore in the store uh, in my old job, which is great. We get, get to go, you know, it's kind of like going home. And um, so just to reset my, reset my brain and but, um, we had visits yesterday and so I'm going to need to fix some stuff at the store, so I'll be there working this weekend. Just wanted to get some crafting done before I go. It helps me clear my brain, helps me re-energize and feel better about the day. And hopefully when I get home, I'll do a little bit more. So we're gonna put this right about, let's line it up with the line again. That was a great idea. Right about there, we're gonna go ahead and press that down. See, and because of the way that the, the pocket is uh, made, the tape doesn't show on the back side. Vellum's not very forgiving sometimes with some of those things, so we wanna be careful with that. So we'll go ahead and put this recipe book in here. Eee, it's coming together, you guys. Some of my favorite little things in here. And we'll be able to put, wait, let's create a little tag to go in there too. Oh shoot, you know, you know what's, you know what? Oh, I didn't even think about that. So what's happening is my little pamphlet is getting caught on that paper. Shoot, I didn't think of that. Um, how do I fix that? I think the only thing I can do is like stick something behind it so I can just slide it easily in there. I'm gonna have to make a tag. We will. Or at least, um, at least something to back it. This would be cute. Actually, I think it's cute exactly the way it is. And then look, then this will just slide because it won't have anything to catch on. This will just slide in there. And what if I just leave this just like this, torn page and all? Look at that, that's cute. And I'm not gonna make it so it slides in and out because then if I move it or something, I won't, it will have the same issue. So let's just glue this in there. What do you think? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. 
moment, if I do say so myself. Look, I was going to make one page and I'm just going to town. I don't know why my videos end up so long. I just get so excited and, you know, I don't mean to do that. Like, Let's just do one page today. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I hope you guys didn't believe that when I said it. I did, but, you know, it turned into something else, didn't it? Okay, 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 don't stick, don't stick. Barely art glue, come on now, get in there. There we go, now you can stick, my friend. Talking to my glue. That is gonna be perfect, and look, it's a little bit crooked and everything. I love it, I love it, it's wonky. Okay, there we go, yes, yes, yes. Okay, look at that. Oh, there's the second page. It's there. So I can decorate up here. I can put a sentiment. I can put more pictures. I can put lots of things. I can. I still want to think I want to put a fabric tag or something on there. I'm going to have to dig through my box and see what I can find. Something cute. I think it would be fun with that. I think it would pull. I like it. You guys, look what we did. We started the journal. All right, let's see if there's anything, any other thing that I want to do today to this page. I'm looking through, looking for pictures. I don't think so. Basic show. Oh, this is so pretty. Would be fun right there that would be really fun right there what if Just a little. I have an idea. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I need to tear both of these. I'm okay with that coming off. Let's just tear it right there. <gasps> Shoot. Oh, that's okay. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue this part down right here. Sorry, I'm probably off camera again. in here but watch this when I fold this open we're gonna put some white paper on here for a journaling spot glue that down so I don't have so much trouble now let's measure this correctly I should have glued it before um nine let's go nine and a quarter by Nine and a quarter by four and a quarter. Corner. Quarter. But, I don't know. Oh, shuckaroo. Nine and a quarter by four and a quarter. Do I have. Let's just use one of these. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Look, I just changed my plans again. We're gonna rip it right here. Want the 
this line. Ooh, and I've got writing on this side. Let's do that. I was going to put new copy paper on here, but this is a better idea. This is a much better idea. Let's use what we have. Okay. You can turn this one right side up. I'm going to put this one in here. So what I want to start doing, sometimes around work we will find um, people's shopping lists. And somebody I used to work with used to collect them. I don't know what they did with them, but wouldn't that be fun to put people's shopping lists in here and use them as um, embellishments or ephemera or whatever, make stuff out of them or just glue them in or use them as journaling spots? I think that would be so much fun. So I think I'm gonna let my team know that if they find um, people's shopping lists to let me, to, to you know, save them for me. I think that would be so fun. So you guys, when you go shopping, write something funky in your list. Lose it. <laughs> because we enjoy reading them. We really do. Um, sometimes there's some funny things written in there, you know? Like, people will write notes to their spouse or whatever. It's really it's really kind of fun. We do, we do get a kick out of it. And then maybe I can do, like, um, a little bit of book page on the side it would only be like an inch that doesn't add color but it does add something just a little something Some washi tape would be cute on there too. I wonder, ooh, I've got this one would be kind of cute on there. Why not use it? I've got it. Can't find the end of it. I just used this, where's the end? Seriously cannot find the end, there we go. Just for a little decorative something something. Put some washi on there. And we will fold this right here. Nice and tight. And then the little recipe book sliding in here will actually keep it closed or keep it in place. Just like that. I guess it won't keep it closed, but there's more I can do. All right, you guys. I think this is it for today. Um, real quick, show you what we did. We made uh, this page. We put the cover on the index or the, the dedication. We'll decorate that another time. I am going to probably paper clip this. Duh. Um, I've got like these super cute paper clips. I know exactly which one. A radish or pineapple. There we go. That's sweet. We'll put a pineapple paper clip here to hold this until I think of, unless I think of something else, but that, I think that'll work. There we go. I've got radishes. I should, guess I should get them out. I don't know where they are. What am I being silly for? Okay, so we've got this page. We've got the little recipe book in here. And um, we've got this page with the journaling card that we made. I 
may end up sewing around this one and putting some fabric on it too. And then, didn't we do one more? Didn't we do just, yes we did, we did a belly band. This one over here, we did a belly band with a recipe page and we put some recipes in there. And that's it for today. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and uh, working on my journal with me. I really appreciate you being here and being a supportive of my channel. If you have not already subscribed and would be interested, I'd love for you to consider that and join me next time. This is Saturday morning makes day and we made it. So have a great day, y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.